Well, um, that I wish I knew way back when. I spent, I've wasted a lot of time early on with, with unproductive rage um, that it wasn't happening quickly enough for me. Uh, which, is, which is pretty ridiculous now that I look back on it because it, it has all worked out very well. Um, but I, before the Coens um, came along and, and plucked me from true, deep obscurity, uh, um, you know, that was 10 years. And there were times when I would get roles, particularly off Broadway, and think, ah, now it's, now it's going to be easier for me. And it just never was. And I was extremely frustrated by that. And I got a great piece of advice from the actress Lois Smith, uh, which I wish I'd heard at the onset of my career instead of in 1997, which is when she, she told me this. So seven years in, because um, I started acting I graduated from Juilliard in 90, 1990. Uh, and she said, Tim, you're not only an actor, but you're a character actor. And for us, it's not about the one role. And it's not about everything changing in an instant. It's about what you accumulate over a lifetime. Let your career unfold over a lifetime and think of it in terms of that not in terms of life-changing roles that you have to have. And that simply took a lot of the pressure off. And I really, I really have now started to think, finally, uh, um, uh, long-term. Um, and Lois started me on that path. Uh, and then the other... Um, the other bit of advice uh, is, was shared to me, um, it was, I think, Peter Hedges told me this, the writer Peter Hedges, and he heard it from, I believe, the writer Richard Nelson, um, who said, uh, another playwright, um, who said, I'm just going to refuse to go away. And, and when it gets really tough, which it always does, no matter how successful your career seems to be, or no matter how successful somebody else's career seems to be, they and you are always going to go through those really, really tough times when you're just eviscerated by either the business or a critic or an agent who drops you, or uh, a movie you get cut out of, or maybe you're even replaced in a movie by another actor after you've already shot. I mean, all of this happens to everyone. Uh, you just have to have the confidence to refuse to go away. And know, just bringing it back to Lois's comment, that it's a, it's a long process, a very long career. Uh, and hopefully at the end of it, you'll want to have accumulated something um, uh, gorgeous and multifaceted and, and honorable and, and worthy of, of the respect of your peers, your children, and those who are going to see what you've put down in years to come. Mm -hmm.